Hey everybody, so I'll make this quick and to the point, very simple for you guys. Obviously in the springtime you're gonna have tons and tons of rain. So we just had some good downpours come through overnight and there's gonna be some more later this week as well. So of course when there's so much rain that causes flooding, right? So it just depends on how well your yard is draining and uh, what your situation is like. So in the springtime I did aeration in the, in, the, uh, in the front yard. So I just did a manual aerator. I also have a video of that posted in my videos. You can kind of see what I did there. Didn't get to do anything in the back. So this year I want to, I wasn't planning on using liquid aeration right now, but because of all these issues, I see it clearly needs something uh, to address these issues. I just don't want all that standing water to create bugs, mosquitoes, uh, mold, any kind of fungus, mildew, or anything like that that can develop and or even like a lawn disease. So I just want solid drainage. So I'm gonna use some Next 8 uh, liquid aeration. Yard and Mastery, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that, but that's where I'm getting my products from. They got good deals right now on their website. Buy three quarts uh, product, get one free with free shipping. So I'm excited about that. And we'll do a video on that shortly to come. But I just kind of want to show you what I'm using now. If you don't have a manual aerator and you do have some, some standing water issues in your yard, what you can do that's going to be cheap, simple, budget friendly. I'm not an expert. Of course, I'm not a professional when it comes to this, but tons and tons of research. Just want to see what's going to work best for my situation in my yard. So uh, here's what I did. As you can see, this area here is about 400 square feet where you can see here. I've done a lot of work already in the yard, probably about an hour. Took some breaks in between. You can kind of see where I dug up a little bit of the yard. Kind of did a manual aeration with a shovel. That's it. So what I'll do, for example, and in the video, in the thumbnail picture of my video, you can see exactly how bad it was before I started. Of course, the air is drying up. The temperatures are warming up. So some of this may have dried up. But because we have more rains coming, I wanted to show you a little bit what I can do and how it's going to help. So basically just dig some, dig some, in the, dig some holes like that. Tons and tons of deep, thin slits in the yard. And as you're doing it, it's going to fill up water. So you can kind of see a little bit. Most of this is already filled up with a lot of the holes I've done. So as you're seeing here, you can kind of just see. Uh, that it's going to fill up shortly here with water. I've already done a ton of this, so you may not see as much. But just kind of want to show you some other options. Temporary, of course, not permanent solutions, but if you aerate your yard, it's gonna help for long-term solutions. So what you can also do is if you don't wanna dig a drain or a French drain, you can dig a trench somewhere, find a low spot, put some PVC piping underneath the ground, maybe dig 10 inches. But obviously I'm not doing that right now. So it's another option for what you guys can do. I'll show you some other areas in my yard. So here's a small section and then there's a small section as well. And then there's a little bit there too as well. And over there is a new seating area. But that's pretty much it. That's how it's gonna work for a temporary quick fix. Uh, keep your yard healthy, long lasting, and just good maintenance for your yard. So obviously I will do a, pro a product review of that uh, next eight liquid aeration in the next video. So stay tuned guys, thanks for watching.